Berg, Andre, thank you so much for your time. I mean, let's get to it and talk about these fires. What exactly caused them? Well, at this stage, it's very difficult to determine. Uh, we've had a few fires in the area. Uh, one of them uh, started where, where people were uh, writing and complaining about the water quality in Hatsofol. That's where the start that affected us directly started. Um, whether it was intentional or not is, is debatable and, and still under investigation. Uh, but that's where it started. And under these weather conditions that we're having at the moment, they spread extremely fast. All right. Can you give us a sense of how big these fires are? We know that much wildlife, much game, many animals have died. Yes, it's very difficult to determine at this stage. Um, we're right on the fringe of the fire. We're actually in, an, in, in a neighboring district. Um, but it's very, very difficult. We started fighting this fire on Sunday night. Uh, on Monday morning, we did a quick estimation and we, we saw about 37,000 hectares have been burnt. Mm. Uh, a second fire, the, the, the fire reignited uh, and ran away from us. Uh, and a second fire actually came in from, uh, from uh, uh, Hatsofol, Borsal side, uh, which, which is absolutely devastated. Um, estimates at the moment is over 100,000 hectares. Heads of cattle, animals, uh, game, very difficult to determine at this stage. Uh, we're still in the process of just trying to, to contain the fires. Um, and you can think for yourself, in a situation like this where everybody's just trying to kill the fire, um, cattle and things get lost and get distributed and dispersed all over the place. So okay, and what we, about we the people, excuse me, jumping stuff. in here, what about the people living there, homes, dwellings, what are we looking at? And, and I know I'm asking you to guess here, but can you give us a sense of how many people are being affected by this? How many people is very difficult to say, but it's, it's quite a few hundred at least. Um, and the, the uh, dependents on those farmers are going to be very hard hit as well. Um, some of these uh, farmers employ quite a few people and, and, and their families will also be affected. That's very difficult. As I said, at the moment, we're just trying to contain the fires and then afterwards we'll, we'll try and, and determine the, the extent of it, but it's going to take quite a while. Okay, and what sort of help are you getting in containing the flames and obviously the area is pretty dry. What sort of access to water do you have? We have access to water. Most of this is grazing and the grazing has to have water points for the cattle and the animals. So um, a lot of uh, um, people are coming in with, with fire trucks, with buckets. It's, it's unbelievable the amount of um, help that we've been getting. Uh, people are literally flying in with their private airplanes. Uh, we've been getting help from um, uh, working on fire, uh, which is a government agency. Um, people with, with now our knowledge and, and even food, fodder, whatever, it, it, it's incredible how this is streaming into the area. So we're very, very thankful for that. What are people who've been affected saying? And I'm sure it'll take a while for it to sink in and for you to assess the sort of damage that's there. But how are people feeling? At the moment, tired. <laughs> it, it's very exhausting to try and fight these fires. Um, if I have to tell you to, to grab something out of your house, right now and leave the rest behind what do you take um, it, it's a very very difficult situation so um yeah people are, are trying to come to grips with it um uh, and, and we're just trying to make sense of it and, and, and trying mm. to get to find out what we have left to start over with it's, it's very difficult uh, and i know you've got to contain this blaze now i mean just looking at those pictures now the, the expanse of it is just simply staggering how easy or hard do you think it'll be to get to the bottom of finding out what actually happened, how it started? That's, that's very difficult to say. Um, felt fires are something we deal with on a, on a yearly basis um, because of the weather situation and the, and the business we're in. Um, but but to, to pinpoint who, what, where, why, how, is going to be very difficult. Um, there are people who are looking into it, I'm, I'm most definitely sure. Um, millions of rands have been lost uh, in grazing alone. Um, we think of people who've, who've been been hurt in the fire. Uh, a young 22-year-old boy was severely burned mm. uh, in our area. Um, is still fighting for his life. So, uh, at the end of the day, financial loss. We can try and recover. We can try and recoup. We've got insurance to an extent, uh, but but lives lost and 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 memories lost. They're things you can't replace. No. Uh, do you think you've got the better of it now? Are you winning, or is there still a very long way to go? At the moment. At the moment, it seems to be contained. The reports that I got this morning says that no new um, smokers in spotted. Uh, Aeroplanes have been up in the air uh, searching for fires, and, and we haven't been finding anything yet. 
but the situation can change in a heartbeat. Uh, mm -hmm. The weather conditions, the, the warm weather and gusting winds uh, make it very difficult. The embers that are lying there um, and will be smoldering for a week or two still. Uh, so it, it, it's contained at the moment. Uh, and we hope it's, uh, it stays contained, but it, as I said, it can, it can change in a heartbeat. Mm. Well, thank you for updating us, and we offer you our support and hope that this is put under control as quickly as possible.